The annual Star Awards Gala was a drive-through this year at Oakville Town Hall, recognizing 120 individuals living with disabilities who've been bright stars throughout the pandemic. A lot of them have struggles. They have been ha they have had struggles with uh, different things like uh, not being with their friends and uh, and. Um, uh, their their programs, their sports with Special Olympics, they lost a lot. And a lot of that was through mental health as well. Lana Whitelock had to give up her apartment and move home with her parents. She also lost her income. Well, the truth is, um, we lose my job permanent because it's thematic, because we closed down permanent uh, business. This has been hard. I miss my day program and my sport and my friends. I was supposed to go to provincials for basketball and I didn't get to go because of COVID. And, you know, my, my team and I, we're, we worked very hard for it. And so we didn't have a chance to go. So all of us were pretty bummed out and sad that we couldn't get to go this year. My favorite part of the Star Wars was being able to see my friends and being honored to get this award because this year I worked very hard for it. Georgetown Special Olympian Michelle O'Keefe looks forward to getting back to swimming, her coach, and especially... Helping the... the uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 anger, uh, 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 athletes. Uh, they do their amazing things in, the, in, in their day-to-day -day lives and that's why I wanted to recognize them. For their needs, they need this kind of event. How does it make you feel to know that you've been recognized with this award? I'm so happy. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.